Okay, here we have a Dell 5300 2-in-1 laptop. We're going to unbox it. We are going to uh, do a basic disassembly of it. And then we are going to boot it up and we're going to benchmark it. We also have another video with us by this exact unit, by the way, uh, in which we put in three different SSDs to see what the performance uh, difference is between the M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD that shipped with it, which was a Micron 2200. And uh, we changed that to a Crucial P1 and benchmarked it. Then we changed it to a GameX S11 Pro and benchmarked that. There are some massive differences. You might want to check out the video, but let's get to this one. Oh, goody. Power charger. North American, because that's where I am. Nothing new there. Silica. And in the box, we have a couple of manuals. Let's start with the one that's almost completely useless. You have the warranty and safety one. No interest there. This is the two in one. And if I'm it's like the other ones, there will be a port layout in this. Let's see if that's in here. So yeah, there's the ports. So that's the only thing that's useful as far as documentation goes. Let's take this off. Okay, so before we do a disassembly on it, let's uh, go over the ports and uh, some of the obvious features. So that's your headphone jack, that's your SD card, that is for a SIM card if you have the uh, WAN. That is uh, all of the USB ports are USB 3.1, that's a Type A, uh, super speed, uh, Dell likes to call it. It's a lock, there's nothing else in the front here. Well, there's a power light on the front, so I shouldn't say there's nothing. On the back, there's nothing but some, uh, uh, on the back and on the bottom, nothing but some vents. Then over here we have uh, power, we have a USB type C, so 3.1 type C. Could be a Thunderbolt with display, uh, it's optional. Uh, that's an HDMI port, uh, that's your super speed uh, USB 3.1 uh, port again, and that is for a smart card reader, uh, and uh, again optional. And let's just open it up very briefly, and we'll show you a couple of cool things here. So this unit also has the uh, fingerprint uh, reader built into the power button which is a nice feature. And of course, they all fold over, which is awesome. This is the two-in-one. Uh, two-in-ones previously didn't have memory slots in them. They were soldered on, but this one does. It's got a camera with two mics, and it also has a uh, card reader here, which is kind of nice. Okay, so let's flip this over and get to unbolting it and taking a look at what's inside. As I said, I know the big feature in this one is that it has two dim slots. Uh, I recently ordered some Dell 7390 2-in-1s and uh, I ended up returning them because even though this is a lower number, it's actually newer and the 7390 does not have, uh, the 7390 2-in-1s, specifically the 2-in-1s, do not have memory slots and I really need to be able to jam these up. So the 7390s limit you to either 8 gig or 16 gig, and that's all you can do. Okay, so let's take a look here. I don't believe there's any pry points around here. No, no pry points. So typically the way I get around that is just to lift up one of the screws and then jam a card in, so I'm just going to do that. Come on, little fellas. Let's make it happen. Oh, one of the things notice, uh, an atypical feature of this is that there's a screw in the back. Don't forget to take that out or you'll end up bending things, which you don't want to do. Yes, it's difficult to take off when it's brand new. Okay, so the back is your typical magnesium, I don't know, it's aluminum, whatever. It's quite lightweight, it's very strong, and resistant. All right, so let's go through the features here. Uh, here we have speakers, the most important part of any laptop. Two speakers. Here we have the M.2 drive. Uh, I'll pull this out in a minute. Battery, memory slot, this is 16 gig. There's another uh, unpopulated 16 gig in this case. I also have the uh, Wi-Fi card and you'll notice the antennas go up into the screen. Uh, if I were to add in a cellular connection, there'd be a WAN card right here. And that is the SIM card holder. CPU, below that of course, well it's a CPU fan, below that of course is the CPU itself, heat pipes to keep it cool. 
Okay, so let's pull a couple of things apart so you can take a look at it. So the memory is just typical dims, nothing too exciting there. Pop that back in. And I'm gonna pull the dim out because I'm not going to use this dim. I wanna show you what I'm gonna change it with. And I will provide you with the benchmark that shows you why I'm changing it. So basically I wanted a much faster dim than what Dell was able to provide uh, at, the pr at a reasonable price. So uh, this is a Micron, well, it's like other ones I've seen. It's a Micron 2200S, I believe. And we just gotta pry this up a little bit right there. There we go. And that comes off. There's backing material there to keep that cool. Anyway, that uh, Micron is, uh, even though it, they, Dell calls it a class 40, which is a nice fast drive, it, yeah, it isn't. So it's fine, but it's not great. So I buy the smallest one I can, and then I change it immediately for a Crucial P1. So there's a Crucial P1 right there. One terabyte, do not buy the 500 gig. It has problems. Well, problems as in it's slow. Um, buy the one terabyte, pop that in. There we go, and just, I'll just reassemble this quickly. I won't make you watch. And then we'll power it up and we'll benchmark it. So this is a little hook. You need to hook it in and then pop it down. There we go. Okay, so I have this image and ready to go. And just a note, if you're going to image these, uh, they will only pixie boot uh, from a few docks, one of them being the WD-15. The D6000s and other uh, newer docks often don't work. Uh, they're just not supported. Um, so let's roll through this Nova bench and I'm not gonna make you sit and watch it. I'll just run through it. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, yeah, so that came up with 1646. Uh, that's perfectly reasonable speed. Let's show the details on the CPU. This is the i7 model. As you can see, it's the i7-8665U. Uh, and the drive, uh, that is not the factory drive. The factory drive is the Micron. That is, in fact, a Crucial P1, which I highly recommend. Uh, the only issue with the Crucial P1 is once it gets to 95% full, you will have it slow down dramatically. So here's an idea buy a large one, like the one terabyte, and don't fill it up. It stays at full speed until about 95, 96%. So it's not like it slows down. It just, once it gets to 95, 96%, it just dies as far as performance goes. You won't actually lose data. Okay, that's not important for the purpose of this. So what do we think about this overall? The numbers are pretty darn impressive with this thing. Let's show you the CPU. So it has four real cores and four hyper threads. This one also has a 16 gig, uh, although like I said, it has uh, an extra slot so I can put more in. And it's using the Intel uh, UHD, the ultra high definition, uh, 620. Uh, this unit has a backlit keyboard, which I believe all of them do, but I'm not positive. Uh, the fingerprint reader works great. Um, uh, the biggest problem we have with this, well, not really problem. The only real issue we have is that it, this is not an infrared camera that's built into it, which means uh, you cannot use it for Windows Hello. You have to use your fingerprint or a PIN number or God forbid an actual password. Um, hardly a crisis, um, but uh, it would have been nice to have that in there. Uh, this was a built, uh, ready, to, ready to go build, so I grabbed it because I was in a hurry. Um, I believe you can order it with the, with the infrared camera. Okay, so just before we let you go, let's take a look at the benchmarks uh, that I did with uh, this identical uh, device with different uh, drives in it. And you can see that the Micron that uh, Dell shipped with it, while it's class 40, which Dell considers to be quite fast, PCIe and VME drive is fine, uh, especially if you're, you know, if you're running office apps or things like that, it's fantastic. So I don't wanna knock it, uh, but it's nowhere near the Crucial P1. And the Crucial P1 is, I don't know, somewhere in the $150 Canadian mark. So it's not exactly giant money for a terabyte. Uh, as I mentioned, every time we talk about it, do not buy the 500 gig. The 500 gig is much slower. Don't know why, don't care, just avoid it. Uh, and then of course the uh, GameX, um, the 8 Gamex S11 Pro is faster again. 
Uh, but uh, the sweet spot, I think, is the Crucial P1 uh, because it's a quad bit. And if you don't know what that means, you can look it up. But basically, it's awesome. And that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.